This has been a long time coming. Chris Todd, and I've kind of pushed this off to the side because he's a Packers fan. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Chris, you're one of the best photographers around this area. I see you at every game. I think every Friday I run into you at some point, I wonder if you're just following me around or if I'm following you around because you seem to be at all these games, getting great photography, whether it's state championships. How long have you been doing this and what has kept you in it for so long? I actually started um, with yearbook photography in high school. Um, it was last fall that I realized I had now done 50 years wow. of mainly 50 years of sports, but af after I went through college and then employment, it became news, feature, business, everything. And what keeps you in it for 50 years? Because, you know, there's a lot of people that switch professions, they switch jobs, but yet the cameras has changed, but your love for it has not. I, I think it's telling a story through pictures. Um, that's, you know, the bottom line of photojournalism. You've got to be able to capture what your game was about, be it, you know, the play that won the game or the reaction afterwards, you know, the old thrill of victory, agony of defeat, um, which many times can be more important than the play of the game. We see that video and, and how social media and things have kind of changed, but yet photography is still in vogue. It is still something that parents want. It's still, it, it may have changed the way in the production of it, but it has. it has not fallen off like maybe you've seen other types of medias fall off. That's true. Um, there are things that translate better to video as opposed to still, but there are iconic still images that, you know, people still remember throughout their lives. Yeah, well, what's the photo with Muhammad Ali standing over, um, well, who was the Sonny other? Sonny Liston. Sonny Liston. Yeah. Like, th there are pictures that I, I know, and I wasn't alive for that, but yet I know that photo, or... Uh, well, and that's a yeah. good example okay, where the still image is better than the video. Now, there are other images, those of you who, you know, remember the field goal that didn't go through the uprights in the Mississippi State Ole Miss game, that has to be video because you can't capture that with a still. Recently, the Saquon Barkley where he jumps over the guy backwards, yeah. there are some really good still Im images of that, but you don't get the real appreciation for the play. You need to see you the see spin the move video. into it, yes, right, and you exactly. need to see what kind of led up into it that exactly. makes it. Yeah. Uh, what are some of your favorite photos that you've taken over the years? Because I know that was something tough for you when I said, hey, send me some photos that you really like, and you're like, well, I don't know how to limit it down. I mean, is there any that come to your to your memory? Photos that I made? Yes, that you okay. made, yeah. Um, there have been, through the years, different images in different, say, subjects. There was a news photo that I made. I remember the publisher of the Clarion Ledger called me on a Sunday morning and said, there was a fire in downtown Jackson. Can you check it out? And so I go there before church. The building is not there, but it had a fire escape on the outside and above the building was this big sign that said eternity where will you spend it and i camped out and waited and there was a i think it was a homeless person who was killed in that fire and so the shot came when they were taking the body bag down the steps of this fire escape with that sign above i mean that's just that's yeah. impactful um you know there are tornadoes and hurricane images throughout the last i've been at the I've been here since 1981. Does it ever get you emotional looking back at some of the photos that you've taken? It does, and, and it seems like these days the emotion comes more when I know the subjects. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing about having shot for so many years down here. You know, I'm shooting the kids of people I shot when they were kids. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. I guess when you're a half century into it, at some point you're going to start running into that. And then it's going to be grandkids. <laughs> then I'm going to retire. <laughs> then, then it's time to hang this up. Well, I hope you don't because I love seeing you on the sidelines. Well, and, and you know, just if you go on Friday nights or, you know, Saturday afternoons or wherever, you not only love doing what you're doing, but the people you meet and the people you work with, like, we always have a great time when we see each other on the sidelines. Absolutely.